its own. The courage of the bravest daunt, 25 and turn poltroons as valiant, for men as resolute appear with too much as too little fear and when they are out of hopes of flying, will run away from death by dying, 30 or turn again to stand it out, and those they fled, like lions, rout. This Hudibras had proof d too true, who, by the furies left Purdue, and haunted with detachments, sent thirty-five from, s, Martial Legion's regiment, was by a fiend, as counterfeit, relieved e and rescued e with a cheat, when nothing but himself, and fear, was both the imp and conjurer, forty as, by the rules o-th virtuosi, it follows in due form of poesy. Disguised in all the masks of night, we left our champion on his flight, at blind man's buff, to grope his way, forty-five in equal fear of night and day, who took his dark and desperate course, he knew no better than his horse, and, by an unknown devil led, he knew as little whither, fled. Fifty he never was in greater need, nor less capacity, of speed, disabled, both in man and beast, to fly and run away his best, to keep the enemy, and fear, fifty-five from equal falling on his rear. And though with kicks and bangs he plied either further and the nearer side, as seamen ride with all their force, and tug as if they rode either horse, sixty and when the hackney sails most swift, believe they lag, or run a drift, so, though he posted ear so fast, his fear was greater than his haste, for fear, though fleeter than the wind, sixty-five believes tees always left behind. But when the morn began to appear, and shift to another scene his fear, he found his new officious shade, that came so timely to his aid, seventy and fork d him from the foe t escape, had turned d itself to Ralpho's shape, so like in person, garb, and pitch, twas hard t interpret which was which. For Ralpho had no sooner told seventy-five the lady all he had t unfold, but she conveyed e him out of sight, to entertain the approaching night, and, while he gave himself diversion, t accommodate his beast and person, eighty and put his beard into a posture at best advantage to accost her, she ordered e t h anti-masquerade for his reception, aforesaid, but when the ceremony was done, eighty-five the lights put out, and furies gone, and Hudibras, among the rest, conveyed e away, as Ralpho guessed e, the wretched caitiff. All alone, as he believed e, began to moan, ninety and tell his story to himself, the knight mistook him for an elf and did so still till he began to scruple at Ralph's outward man, and thought, because they oft agreed ninety-five t appear in one another's stead, and act the saints and devils part with undistinguishable art, they might have done so now, perhaps, and put on one another's shapes one hundred and therefore, to resolve the doubt, he starred e upon him and cry thee out, what art? My squire, or that bold sprite that took his place and shape tonight? Some busy independent pug, one hundred and five retainer to his synagogue. Alas! Quoth he, I'm none of those, your bosom friends, as you suppose, but Ralph himself, your trusty squire. W. H. has dragged e your dunship out o t h mire, one hundred and ten and from t h enchantments of a widow, w h had turned e you into beast, have freed you, 
and, though a prisoner of war, have brought you safe where you now are, which you would gratefully repay 115 your constant Presbyterian way. That stranger, quoth the knight, and stranger. Who gave thee notice of my danger? Quoth he, th infernal conjurer pursued thee and took me prisoner, 120 and knowing you were hereabout, brought me along to find you out, where I, in Hagamugga hid, have noted all they said or did, and though they lay to him the pageant, 125 I did not see him, nor his agent, who played thee their sorceries out of sight, t avoid a fiercer second fight. But didst thou see no devils then? Not one, quoth he, but carnal men, 130 a little worse than fiends in hell, and that she devil Jezebel, that laugh d and t he d with derision, to see them take your deposition. What then, quoth Hudibras, was he one hundred and thirty-five that play d the devil to examine me? A rallying weaver in the town, that did it in a parson's gown, whom all the parish take for gifted, but, for my part, I ne'er believe d it. 140 in which you told them all your feats, your conscientious frauds and cheats, denied ye your whipping, and confessed the naked truth of all the rest, more plainly than the, t, reverend writer, 145 that to our churches veiled ye his mitre, all which they took in black and white, and cudgelled ye me to underwrite. What made thee, when they all were gone, and none but thou and I alone, one hundred and fifty to act the devil, and forbear to rid me of my hellish fear? Quoth he, I knew your constant rate and frame of spirit too obstinate to be by me prevailed e upon one hundred and fifty-five with any motives of my own, and therefore strove to counterfeit the devil a while to nick your wit, the devil, that is your constant crony, that only can prevail upon ye, one hundred and sixty else we might still have been disputing, and they with weighty drubs confuting. The knight who now began to find th had left the enemy behind, and saw no farther harm remain. 165 but feeble weariness and pain, perceived e, by losing of their way, th had gained e th advantage of the day, and, by declining of the road, they had, by chance, their rear made good, 170 he ventured e to dismiss his fear, that partings won't to rent and tear and give the desperate SD attack to danger still behind its back. For having pals D to recollect, 175 and on his past success reflect, T examine and consider why, and whence, and how, they came to fly, and when no devil had appeared E, what else, it could E be said, he feared E. 180 it put him in so fierce a rage, he once resolved e to re-engage, toss d like a football back again, with shame and vengeance, and disdain. Quoth he, it was thy cowardice 185 that made me from this league arise and when I'd half reduc d the place. To quit it infamously base was better covered e by the new arrived e detachment than I knew, 190 to slight my new acquests, and run victoriously from battles won, and reckon in all I gained e or lost, to sell them cheaper than they cost, to make me put myself to flight. 195 and concurring run away by night to drag me out, 
which th haughty foe durst never have presumed e to do to mount me in the dark, by force, upon the beverage of my horse, two hundred exposed e in quipo to their rage, without my arms and equipage, lest, if they venture e to pursue, I might th unequal fight renew, and, to preserve thy outward man, Two hundred and five assumed e my place, and led the van. All this quoth Ralph, I did, tease true, not to preserve myself, but you, you, who were damned e to baser drubs than wretches feel in powdering tubs. Two hundred and ten to mount two wieldy e caroches. Worse than managing a wooden horse dragged e out through straighter holes by th ears, here as d or q d for perjurers, who, though th attempt had proof d in vain, two hundred and fifteen had had no reason to complain, but since it prospered e, t's unhandsome to blame the hand that paid our ransom and rescued e your obnoxious bones from unavoidable batoons. 220 The enemy was re in fork d, and we disabled, and unhorsed e, disarmed e, unqualified e for fight, and no way left but hasty flight, which though as desperate in th attempt, 225 has given you freedom to condemn t. But were our bones in fit condition to reinforce the expedition, tease now unseasonable, and vain, to think of falling on again. 230 No martial project to surprise can ever be attempted twice, nor cast design serve afterwards, as gamesters tear their losing cards. Beside, our bangs of man and beast 235 are fit for nothing now but rest, and for a while will not be able to rally, and prove serviceable, and therefore I, with reason, chose this stratagem to amuse our foes, 240 to make an honourable retreat, and wave a total sure defeat, for those that fly may fight again which he can never do that's slain. Hence timely runnings no mean part 245 of conduct in the martial art, by which some glorious feats achieve, as citizens by breaking thrive, and cannons conquer armies, while they seem to draw off and recoil. 250 is held the gallantest course, and bravest to great exploits, as well as safest, that spares th expense of time and pains, and dangerous beating out of brains, and in the end prevails as certain 255 as those that never trust to fortune, but make their fear do execution beyond the stoutest resolution, as earthquakes kill without a blow and, only trembling, overthrow, 260 if, you, th ancients crown d their bravest men that only save d a citizen, what victory could e er be won, if ever why one would save but one or fight endanger d to be lost, 265 where all resolve to save the most. By this means, when a battle's won, the war's as far from being done, for those that save themselves, and fly, go halves, at least, ith victory, 270 and sometimes, when the loss is small, and danger great, they challenge all, print new additions to their feats, and emendations in gazettes, and when, for furious haste to run, 275 they durst not stay to fire a gun, have done tea with bonfires, and at home made squibs and crackers overcome, to set the rabble on a flame, and keep their governors from blame, 
280 disperse the news the pulpit tells, confirm D with fireworks and with bells, and though reduct D to that extreme, they have been fork D to sing te diem, yet, with religious blasphemy, 285 by flattering heaven with a lie and for their beating giving thanks, th have ready recruits, and fill D their banks, for those who run from th enemy, engage them equally to fly, 290 and when the fight becomes a chase, those win the day that win the race and that which would not pass in. Fights, has done the feat with easy flights, recovered e many a desperate campaign 295 with Bordeaux, Burgundy, and Champagne, rested e the fainting high and mighty with Brandywine and Aquavite, and made em stoutly overcome with Barcrack, Hockamore, and Mum. 300 whom the uncontrolled e decrees of fate to victory necessitate, with which, although they run or burn they unavoidably return, or else their W. Sultan populaces 305 still strangle all their routed bases. Quoth Hudabras, I understand what fights thou mean st at sea and land and who those were that run away, and yet gave out th had won the day, 310 although the rabble sues d them 40, or head and ears in mud and dirt. Tis true, our modern way of war is grown more politic by far, but not so resolute, and bold, 315 nor tidy to honour, as the old. For now they laugh at giving battle, unless it be to herds of cattle, or fighting convoys of provision. The whole design o' the expedition, 320 and not with downright blows to rout the enemy, but eat them out, as fighting, in all beasts of prey, and eating, are performed e one way to give defiance to their teeth 325 and fight their stubborn guts to death, and those achieve the highest t renown, that bring the others' stomachs down. There's now no fear of wounds, nor maiming, all dangers are. Reduct d to famine, 330 and feats of arms, to plot, design, surprise and stratagem, and mine, but have no need nor use of courage, unless it be for glory or forage, for if they fight, tease but by chance, 335 when one side venturing to advance, and come uncivilly too near, are charged e unmercifully ith rear, and fork d with terrible resistance, to keep hereafter at a distance, 340 to pick out ground to encamp upon, where store of largest rivers run, that serve, instead of peaceful barriers, to part th engagements of their warriors, where both from side to side may skip, 345 and only encounter at bow peep, for men are found the stouter hearted, the certainer th are to be parted, and therefore post themselves in bogs, as th ancient, x, mice attack d the frogs, 350 and made their mortal enemy, the water rat, their strict ally. For tis not now, who's stout and bold, but who bears hunger best, and cold, and he's a prof d the most deserving, 355 who longest can hold out at starving, and he that routs most pigs and cows, the formidablest man of prowess. So th Emperor Caligula, that triumph d o'er the British sea, 360 took crabs and oysters prisoners, lobsters, stead of quiraziers, 
Ingagdi his legions in fierce bustles with periwinkles, prawns, and mussels, and led his troops with furious gallops, 365 to charge whole regiments of scallops not like their ancient way of war, to wait on his triumphal car but when he went to dine or sup more bravely eat his captives up. 370 and left all war, by his example, reducti to victling of a camp well. Quoth Ralph, by all that you have said, and twice as much that I could e add, tease plain you cannot now do worse, 375 then take this out of fashion d course, to hope, by stratagem, to woo her or waging battle to subdue her though some have done it in romances, and bangdi them into amorous fancies, 380 as those who won the Amazons, by wanton drubbing of their bones, and stout, why, Rinaldo gained thee his bride, by courting of her back and side. But since those times and feats are over, 385 they are not for a modern lover, when mistresses are too cross-grained by such addresses to be gained and if they were, would ye have it out with many another kind of bout. 390 therefore I hold no course as infeasible, as this of force to win the Jezebel, to storm her heart by th antic charms of ladies errant, force of arms, but rather strive by law to win her, 395 and try the title you have in her. Your case is clear, you have her word, and me to witness the accord besides two more of her retinue to testify what passed d between you, 400 more probable, and like to hold, than hand, or seal, or breaking gold, for which so many, that renowned d their plighted contracts, have been trounc d and bills upon record been found, 405 that fork d the ladies to compound, and that, unless I miss the matter, is all the busness you look after. Besides, Encounters at the bar are braver now than those in war, 410 in which the law does execution with less disorder and confusion has more of honour in t, some hold not like the new way, but the old when those the pen had drawn together, 415 decided quarrels with the feather, and winged arrows killed e as dead, and more than bullets now of lead. So all their combats now, as then, are managed chiefly by the pen, 420 that does the feat with braver vigours, in words at length, as well as figures, is judge of all the world performs in voluntary feats of arms and what soers achievd in fight, 425 determines which is wrong or right, for whether you prevail, or lose all must be tried e there in the close, and therefore tis not wise to shun what you must trust to ere why have done. 430 The law, that settles all you do, and marries where you did but woo, that makes the most perfidious lover a lady, that says false, recover, and if it judge upon your side, 435 will soon extend her for your bride, and put her person, goods, or lands, or which you like best into your hands. For laws the wisdom of all ages, and managed by the ablest sages, 440 who, though their busness at the bar be but a kind of civil war, in which th engage with fiercer dudgeons than the other Grecians did and Trojans. They never manage the contest 445 t impair their public interest, or by their controversies lessen the dignity of their profession, not like us brethren, 
who divide our commonwealth, the cause, and side, 450 and though W are all as near of kindred as th outward man is to the inward, we agree in nothing, but to wrangle about the slightest fangle fangle, while lawyers have more sober sense 455 than t argue at their own expense, but make their best advantages of others' quarrels, like the Swiss, and, out of foreign controversies, by aiding both sides, fill their purses, 460 but have no interest in the cause for which th engage, and wage the laws, nor further prospect than their pay, whether they lose or win the day, and though th abounded in all ages, 465 with sundry learned clerks and sages, though all their business be dispute, which way they canvass ever why suit, th have no disputes about their art, nor in polemics controvert, 470 while all professions else are found with nothing but disputes t abound divines of all sorts and physicians, philosophers, mathematicians, the Galenist and Paracelsian 475 condemn the way each other deals in, anatomists dissect and mangle, to cut themselves out work to wrangle astrologers dispute their dreams, that in their sleeps they talk of schemes, 480 and Harold Stickle who got who so many hundred years ago. But lawyers are too wise a nation t expose their trade to disputation, or make the busy rabble judges 485 of all their secret peaks and grudges, in which whoever wins the day, the whole profession's sure to pay. Beside, no mountebanks, nor cheats dare undertake to do their feats, 490 when in all other sciences they swarm, like insects, and increase. For what bigot durst ever draw, by inward light, a deed in law? Or could hold forth, by revelation, 495 an answer to a declaration? For those that meddle with their tools will cut their fingers, if they are fools, and if you follow their advice, in bills, and answers, and replies, 500, they'll write a love letter in chancery, shall bring her upon oath to answer ye, and soon reduce her to be your wife, or make her weary of her life. The Knight who us d with tricks and shifts 505 to edify by Ralpho's gifts, but in appearance cry d him down, to make them better seem his own, all plagiary's constant course of sinking when they take a purse, 510 resolve d to follow his advice, but kept it from him by disguise, and, after stubborn contradiction, to counterfeit his own conviction, and by transition fall upon 515 the resolution as his own. Quoth he, This gamble thou advisest is of all others the unwisest, for if I think by law to gain her, there's nothing sillier or vainer 520 t's but to hazard my pretense, where nothing's certain but th expense, to act against myself, and traverse my suit and title, to her favours and if she show d, which heaven forbid, 525 o'erthrow me, as the fiddler did, what after course have I to take, gainst losing all I have at stake? He that with injury is grieved d, and goes to law to be relieved d, 530 is sillier than a sottish chouse, who, when thief has robbed e his house, applies himself to cunning men, to help him to his good sage n, 
when all he can expect to gain, 535 is but to squander more in vain, and yet I have no other way but is as difficult to play. For to reduce her by main force, is now in vain, by fair means, worse, 540 but worst of all, to give her over, till she's as desperate to recover for bad games are thrown up too soon, until th are never to be won. But since I have no other course, 545 but is as bad t attempt, or worse, he that complies against his will, is of his own opinion still, which he may adhere to, yet disown, for reasons to himself best known, 550 but tease not to be avoided now, for Sidrophail resolves to sue, whom I must answer, or begin inevitably first with him. For I've received the advertisement, 555 by times enough, of his intent, and knowing he that first complains th advantage of the business gains, for courts of justice understand the plaintiff to be eldest hand, 560 who what he pleases may aver, the other, nothing, till he swear, is freely admitted to all grace, and lawful favour, by his place, and, for his bringing custom in, 565 has all advantages to win. I, who resolve to oversee no lucky opportunity, will go to counsel, to advise which way t encounter, or surprise, 570 and, after long consideration, have found out one to fit th occasion, most apt for what I have to do, as counsellor and justice too. And truly so, no doubt, he was, 575 a lawyer fit for such a case. An, Z, old dull sot, who told the clock for many years at Bridewell Dock, at Westminster, and Hicks's Hall, and Hitch Stocktius play D in all, 580 where, in all governments and times, H had been both friend and foe to crimes, and us D two equal ways of gaining by hindering justice or maintaining, to many a whore gave privilege, 585 and whip D for want of quarterage, cartloads of boards to prison sent for being behind a fortnight's rent and many a trusty pimp and crony to, a, puddle dock. For want of money, 590 in gag D the constable to seize all those that would not break the peace, nor give him back his own foul words, though sometimes commoners or lords, and kept em prisoners of course. 595 for being sober at ill hours, that in the morning he might free or bind them over for his fee, maid, b, monsters fine, and puppet plays, for leave to practice in their ways, 600 farm d out all cheats, and went to share with th headborough and scavenger, and made the dirt i th streets. Compound for taking up the public ground, the kennel, and the king's highway, 605 for being unmolested, pay, let out the stocks, and whipping post, and cage, to those that gave him most, imposed the attacks on baker's ears, and for false weights on chandeliers. 610 made vitellers and vintners fine for arbitrary ale and wine, but was a kind and constant friend to all that regularly offend, as residentiary boards, 615 and brokers that receive still end goods, that cheat in lawful mysteries, and pay church duties and his fees, but was implacable, and awkward 
to all that interlop d and hawker d. 620 To this brave man the knight repairs for counsel in his law affairs and found him mounted in his pew, with books and money plaque d for show, like nest eggs to make clients lay. 625 And for his false opinion pay to whom the knight, with comely grace, put off his hat to put his case which he as proudly entertained e as th other courteously strained e. 630 And, to assure him t was not that he looked e for, bid him put on's hat. Quoth he, there is one sidro fail whom I have cudgelled e, very well. And now he brags t have beaten me. 635 Better and better still, quoth he. And vows to stick me to a wall where e'er he meets me, best of all. Tis true, the knave has taken oath that I robbed e him, well done. In troth 640 when H has confessed D he stole my cloak, and pick D my fob, and what he took, which was the cause that made me bang him, and take my goods again, marry hang him. Now whether I should beforehand, 645 swear he robbed e me. I understand. Or bring my action of conversion and trevor for my goods. Ah, Horson. Or if tis better to indict, and bring him to his trial. Right. 650 Prevent what he designs to do, and swear for th state against him. True. Or whether he that is defendant in this case has the better end on t, who, putting in a new cross bill, 655 may traverse th action. Better still. Then there's a lady too, I, marry that's easily prof d accessory, a widow, who, by solemn vows contracted to me for my spouse. 660 Combin D with him to break her word, and has abetted all. Good Lord Saborn DTH aforesaid Sidro fail to tamper with the devil of hell, who put him into a horrid fear. 665 Fear of my life. Make that appear. Made an assault with fiends and men upon my body. Good day, Jen, and kept me in a deadly fright, and false imprisonment, all night 670 meanwhile they robbed e me, and my horse, and stole my saddle. Worse and worse. And made me mount upon the beverage, t avoid a wretched a miscarriage. Sir, quoth the lawyer, not to flatter ye. 675 You have as good and fair a battery as heart can wish, and need not shame the proudest man alive to claim. For if th have us d you as you say, marry, quoth I, God give you joy. 680 I would e it were my case, I'd give more than I'll say, or you'll believe. I would so trounce her and her purse, I'd make her kneel for better or worse, for matrimony and hanging here 685 both go by destiny so clear, that you as sure may pick and choose, as cross, I win, and, pile, you lose, and, if I durst, I would advance as much in ready maintenance, 690 as upon any case I've known but we that practice dare not own. The law severely contrabands our taking busness off men's hands, tease common baratry, that bears 695 point blank an action gainst our ears and crops them till there is not leather to stick a pin in left of either, 
for which some do the somersault, and o'er the bar, like tumblers, vault, seven hundred but you may swear, at any rate, things not in nature, for the state, for in all courts of justice here a witness is not said to swear, but make oath, that is, in plain terms, seven hundred and five to forge whatever he affirms. I thank you, quoth the knight, for that, because tis to my purpose pat, for justice, though she's painted blind, is to the weaker side in Clindy, seven hundred and ten like charity, else right and wrong could never hold it out so long, and, like blind fortune, with a slight convey men's interest and right from, see, Styles's pocket into Noakes's, seven hundred and fifteen as easily as hocus pocus, play fast and loose, make men obnoxious, and clear again, like Hitch Stocktius. Then whether you would take her life, or but recover her for your wife, seven hundred and twenty or be content with what she has, and let all other matters pass, the busness to the laws alone, the proof is all it looks upon, and you can want no witnesses seven hundred and twenty-five to swear to anything you please, that hardly get their mere expenses by th labour of their consciences, or letting out to hire their ears to affidavit customers, seven hundred and thirty at inconsiderable values, to serve for jurymen or tallies, although retained d in th. Hardest matters, of trustees and administrators. For that, quoth he, let me alone, seven hundred and thirty-five double you have store of such, and all our own, bred up and tutored e by our teachers, the ablest of conscience stretchers. That's well, quoth he, but I should guess, by weighing all advantages, seven hundred and forty your surest way is first to pitch on, d. Born ye for a water witch, and when why have hanged ye the conjurer, why have time enough to deal with her? In th in trim, spare for no trepan seven hundred and forty-five to draw her neck into the bands ply her with love letters and billets, and bait em well, for quirks and quillets with trains t in vagal, and surprise her heedless answers and replies, seven hundred and fifty and if she miss the mouse trap lines, they'll serve for other by designs, and make an artist understand to copy out her seal or hand, or find void places in the paper seven hundred and fifty-five to steal in something to entrap her till, with her worldly goods and body, spite of her heart. She has endowed ye, retain all sorts of witnesses, that ply ith temple under trees, seven hundred and sixty or walk the round, with knights oth posts, about the cross-legged knights, their hosts, or wait for customers between the pillars rows in Lincoln's in where vouchers, forgers, common bail, seven hundred and sixty-five and affidavit men, ne'er fail t expose to sale all sorts of oaths, according to their ears and clothes, their only necessary tools, besides the gospel and their souls, seven hundred and seventy and when why are furnished d with all. Pervase, I shall be ready at your service. I would not give, Quoth Hudibras, a straw to understand a case, without the admirable skill seven hundred and seventy-five to wind and manage it at will, to veer, and tack, and steer a cause against the weather gauge of laws, and ring the changes upon cases as plain as noses upon faces, 
780 as you have well instructed me, for which you earn d, here tease, your fee. I long to practice your advice, and try the subtle artifice, to bait a letter, as you bid, 785 as not long after, thus he did for having pumped d up all his wit, and hummed d upon it, thus he writ. Notes to Part 3 Canto 3 8 Q then hags with all their imps and teats. Dot. Alluding to the vulgar opinion, that witches have their imps, or familiar spirits, that are employed in their diabolical practices, and suck private teats they have about them. 15 are as rosy crucian virtuosos, and C. Dot. The Rosicrucians were a sect that appeared in Germany in the beginning of the XVIth age. They are also called the Enlightened, Immortal, and Invisible. They are a very enthusiastical sort of men, and hold many wild and extravagant opinions. 36s from Martial Legion's Regiment. He used to preach, as if they might expect legions to drop down from heaven, for the propagation of the good old cause. 145 t more plainly than the reverend writer, and c. Dot. A most reverend prelate, a b of y who sided with the disaffected party. 261 you if the ancients crown d their bravest men, and c. Dot. The Romans highly honoured, and nobly rewarded, those persons that were instrumental in the preservation of the lives of their citizens, either in battle or otherwise 305 w or else their sultan populaces, and c. Dot. The author compares the arbitrary actings of the ungovernable mob to the sultan or grand signer, who very seldom fails to sacrifice any of his chief commanders, called bases, if they prove unsuccessful in battle. 350x as the ancient mice attack d the frogs. Homer wrote a poem of the war between the mice and the frogs. 383 Y and stout Rinaldo gained D his bride, and C. Dot. A story in Tasso, an Italian poet, of a hero that gained his mistress by conquering her party. 577 Z an old dull sot, who told the clock, and C. Dot. Prideux, a justice of peace a very pragmatical busy person in those times, and a mercenary and cruel magistrate, infamous for the following methods of getting of money among many others. 589er and many a trusty pimp and crony, and C. Dot. There was a gull for puny offenders. 599b made monsters fine and puppet plays, and c. Dot. He extorted money from those that kept shows. 715 c. From Stiles's pocket into Noakes's, and c. Dot. John Noakes, and John Stiles, are two fictitious names made use of in stating cases of law only. 742 d on Bongi for a water witch. Bongi was a Franciscan, and lived towards the end of the 13th century, a doctor of divinity in Oxford, and a particular acquaintance of Friar Bacon's. In that ignorant age, everything that seemed extraordinary was reputed magic and so both Bacon and Bongi went under the imputation of studying the black art. Bongi also, 
publishing a treatise of natural magic, confirmed some well-meaning credulous people in this opinion, but it was altogether groundless, for Bonji was chosen provincial of his order, being a person of most excellent parts and piety. An heroical epistle of Hudibras to his lady. I who was once as great as Caesar, am now reducti to Nebuchadnezzar, and from as famdi a conqueror as ever took degree in war, or did his exercise in battle, five by you turned out to grass with cattle, for since I am denied e access to all my earthly happiness am fallen from the paradise of your good graces, and fair eyes, ten lost to the world, and you. I'm sent to everlasting banishment, where all the hopes I had t have won your heart, being dashed e, will break my own. Yet if you were not so severe fifteen to pass your doom before you hear, you'd find, upon my just defence, how much why have wronged e my innocence. That once I made a vow to you, which yet is unperformed, Tease true, twenty but not because it is unpaid, tease violated, though delayed e, or, if it were, it is no foul t, so heinous as you'd have it thought, to undergo the loss of ears, twenty-five like vulgar hackney perjurers for there's a difference rents in the case, between the noble and the base who always are observed et have done t upon as different an account, thirty the one for great and weighty cause, to serve in honour ugly flaws, for none are like to do it. Sooner than those who are nicest of their honour, the other, for base gain and pay, thirty-five for swear, and perjure by the day and make th exposing and retailing their souls and consciences a calling. It is no scandal, nor aspersion, upon a great and noble person, forty to say he naturally abhorred th old-fashioned e trick, to keep his word, though t's perfidiousness and shame in meaner men to do the same, for to be able to forget. Forty-five is found more useful to the great, than gout, or deafness, or bad eyes, to make him pass for wondrous wise. But though the law on perjurers inflicts the forfeiture of ears, fifty it is not just that does exempt the guilty, and punish th innocent, to make the ears repair the wrong committed by th ungoverned e tongue. And when one member is forsworn, fifty-five another to be cropped or torn. And if you show d, as you design, by course of law, recover mine, your like, if you consider right, to gain but little honour by t. Sixty-four he that for his lady's sake lays down his life or limbs at stake, does not so much deserve her favour as he that pawns his soul to have her, this why have acknowledged e I have done, sixty-five although you now disdain to own, but sentence what you rather ought t esteem good service than a foul t. Besides, oaths are not bound to bear that literal sense the words infer, seventy but, by the practice of the age, are to be jugged e how far th engage, and, where the sense by customs checked, are found void, and of none effect. For no man takes or keeps a vow seventy-five but just as he sees others do, nor are th obliged e to be so brittle, as not to yield and bow a little, for as best tempered e blades are found, before they break to bend quite round, eighty so truest oaths are still most tough, and though they bow, are breaking proof. Then wherefore should they not be allowed e in love a greater latitude? For as the law of arms approves eighty-five always to conquest, 
so should loves, and not be tidy to true or false, but make that justice that prevails for how can that which is above all empire, high and mighty love, ninety submit its great prerogative to any other power alive. Shall love, that to no crown gives place, become the subject of a case? The fundamental law of nature, 95 be overruled by those made after. Commit the censure of its cause to any but its own great laws. Love, that's the world's preservative, 100 that keeps all souls of things alive, controls the mighty power of fate, and gives mankind a longer date, the life of nature that restores as fast as time and death devours, to whose free gift the world does owe, 105 not only earth, but heaven too, for love's the only trade that's driven, the interest of state in heaven, which nothing but the soul of man is capable to entertain. 110 for what can earth produce? but love to represent the joys above. Or who but lovers can converse, like angels, by, e, the I discourse. Address and compliment by vision, 115 make love and court by intuition. And burn in amorous flames as fierce as those celestial ministers. Then how can anything offend? in order to so great an end. 120 or heaven itself a sin, f, resent, that for its own supply was meant. That merits, in a kind mistake, a pardon for th offences sake. Or if it did not, but the cause 125 were left to th injury at laws. What tyranny can disapprove there should be equity in love, for laws that are inanimate, and feel no sense of love or hate, 130 that have no passion of their own, nor pity to be wrought upon, are only proper to inflict revenge on criminals as strict but to have power to forgive, 135 is empire and prerogative and tease in crowns a nobler gem to grant a pardon than condemn. Then since so few do what they ought, tease great tea indulge a well-meant foul tea. 144 Why should he who made address, all humble ways, without success, and met with nothing, in return, but insolence, affronts, and scorn, not strive by wit to countermine, 145 and bravely carry his design. He who was us d so unlike a soldier, blown up with filters of love powder. And after letting blood, and purging, condemned e to voluntary scourging, 150 alarmed e with many a horrid fright and clawed e by goblins in the night, insulted on, revealed e, and jeered e, with rude invasion of his beard, and when your sex was foully scandled e, 155 as foully by the rabble handled, attacked e by despicable foes, and drubbed e with mean and vulgar blows, and, after all, to be d bared e so much as standing on his guard, 160 when horses, being spurdy and prickdy, have leave to kick for being kickdy. Or why should you, whose mother wits are furnished d with all perquisites, that with your breeding teeth begin, 165 and nursing babies, that lie in, be allowed e to put all tricks upon our cully sex? and we use none. We, who have nothing but frail vows against your stratagems t oppose, 170 or oaths more feeble than your own, 
by which we are no less put down. You wound, like, g, Parthians, while you fly, and kill with a retreating eye, retire the more, the more we press 175 to draw us into ambushes. As pirates all false colours wear t in trap th unwary mariner, so women, to surprise us, spread the borrowed e flags of white and red, 180 display m thicker on their cheeks than their old grandmothers, the Picts, and raise more devils with their looks, than conjurers less subtle books, lay trains of amorous intrigues. 185 in toe rs, and curls, and periwigs, with greater art and cunning rear d, than, h, Philip Nye's thanksgiving beard, preposterously t entice, and gain those to adore m. They disdain, 190 and only draw m in, to clog with idle names a catalogue. A lover is, the more he's brave, t his mistress but the more a slave, and whatsoever she commands, 195 becomes a favour from her hands, which he's obliged t obey, and must, whether it be unjust or just. Then when he is compelled e by her t adventures he would else forbear, 200 who with his honour can withstand since force is greater than command. And when necessities obey d, nothing can be unjust or bad and therefore when the mighty POWRS 205 of love, our great ally and yours, join d forces not to be withstood by frail enamoured flesh and blood, all I have done, unjust or ill, was in obedience to your will. 210 and all the blame that can be due, falls to your cruelty and you. Nor are those scandals I confessed, against my will and interest, more than is daily done of course 215 by all men, when they are under force, when some upon the rack confess what th hangman and their prompters please, but are no sooner out of pain than they deny it all again. 220 But when the devil turns confessor, truth is a crime he takes no pleasure to hear, or pardon, like the founder of liars, whom they all claim under and therefore, when I told him none, 225 I think it was the wiser done. Nor am I without precedent. The first that on th adventure went all mankind ever did of course, and daily dues the same, or worse. 230 For what romance can show a lover, that had a lady to recover, and did not steer a nearer course, to fall a board on his amours? And what at first was held a crime? 235 has turned d to honourable in time. To what a height did, I, infant Rome, by ravishing of women, come when men upon their spouses seize d, and freely marry d where they please d, 240 they ne'er forswore themselves, nor lie d, nor, in the mind they were in, d y d, nor took the pains t address and sue, nor play d the masquerade to woo, disdain d to stay for friends' consents, 245 nor juggled about settlements, did need no license, nor no priest, nor friends, nor kindred, to assist, nor lawyers to join land and money in th holy state of matrimony, 250 before they settled hands and hearts, till, k, alimony or death them parts, nor would he endure to stay until th had got the very bride's good will, but took a wise and shorter course 255 to win the ladies, 
downright force. And justly made em prisoners then, as they have often since, us men, with acting plays, and dancing jigs, the luckiest of all love's intrigues, two hundred and sixty and when they had them at their pleasure, then talk d of love and flames at leisure, for after matrimony's over, he that holds out but half a lover, deserves for ever why minute more two hundred and sixty-five than half a year of love before, for which the dames in contemplation of that best way of application, prof de nobler wives than e er was known, by suit or treaty to be one, two hundred and seventy and such as all posterity could e never equal nor come nigh. For women first were made for men, not men for them. It follows, then, that men have right to ever why one, two hundred and seventy-five and they know freedom of their own and therefore men have p-o-w-r to choose, but they know charter to refuse. Hence tease apparent, that what course sir we take to your amours, two hundred and eighty though by the indirectest way, tease no injustice, nor foul play, and that you ought to take that course, as we take you, for better or worse, and gratefully submit to those two hundred and eighty-five who you, before another, chose. For why should ever why savage beast exceed his great lord's interest? Have freer P.O.W.R. than he in grace, and nature, or the creature has. 290 Because the laws he since has made have cut off all the P.O.W.R. he had, retrenched e the absolute dominion that nature gave him over women, when all his P.O.W.R. will not extend 295 one law of nature to suspend and but to offer to repeal the smallest clause, is to rebel. This, if men rightly understood their privilege, they would e make good, three hundred and not, like sots, permit their wives t encroach on their prerogatives, for which sin they deserve to be kept, as they are, in slavery, and this some precious gifted teachers, three hundred and five unreverently reputed leeches, and disobey d in making love, have vowed d to all the world to prove, and make ye suffer, as you ought, for that uncharitable fauty. Three hundred and ten but I forget myself, and rove beyond th instructions of my love. Forgive me, fair and only blame th extravagancy of my flame, since t's too much at once to show 315 excess of love and temper to. All I have said that's bad and true, was never meant to aim at you, who have so sov reign a control o'er that poor slave of yours, my soul, 320 that, rather than to forfeit you has ventured e loss of heaven to, both with an equal p-o-w-r possessed, to render all that serve you blessed, but none like him, who's destined e either three hundred and twenty-five to have, or lose you, both together. And if you'll but this fault release, for so it must be, since you please, I'll pay down all that vow, and more which you commanded, and I swore, three hundred and thirty and expiate upon my skin th arrears in full of all my sin. For tease but just that I should pay th accruing penance for delay, which shall be done, until it move three hundred and thirty-five your equal pity and your love. The Knight, perusing this epistle, Believe D.H. had brought her to his whistle, and read it like a jocund lover, with great applause T. himself, twice over, 
340 subscribed his name, but at a fit and humble distance to his wit, and dated it with wondrous art, given from the bottom of his heart, then sealed it with his coat of love, 345 a smoking faggot, and above, upon a scroll, I burn, and weep, and near it, for her ladyship, of all her sex most excellent, these to her gentle hands present. 350 then gave it to his faithful squire, with lessons how to observe and I her. She first considered e which was better, to send it back, or burn the letter. But guessing that it might import, 355 though nothing else, at least her sport, she opened e it, and read it out, with many a smile and leering flout, resolved e to answer it in kind, and thus performed e what she designed e. 360 Notes on Hudibras's Epistle to His Lady 113 E or who but lovers can converse, and see. Metaphysicians are of opinion, that angels and souls departed, being divested of all gross matter, understand each other's sentiments by intuition and consequently maintain a sort of conversation without the organs of speech. 121 F or heaven itself a sin resent, and C. In regard children are capable of being inhabitants of heaven, therefore it should not resent it as a crime to supply store of inhabitants for it. 173 G you wound like Parthians while you fly, and C. Parthians are the inhabitants of a province in Persia. They were excellent horsemen, and very exquisite at their bows, and it is reported of them, that they generally slew more on their retreat than they did in the engagement. 188 H. Then Philip Nye's Thanksgiving Beard, one of the assembly of divines, very remarkable for the singularity of his beard. 237 I. To what a height did infant Rome, and C. When Romulus had built Rome, he made it an asylum, or place of refuge, for all malefactors and others obnoxious to the laws to retire to, by which means it soon came to be very populous, but when he began to consider, that, without propagation, it would soon be destitute of inhabitants, he invented several fine shows, and invited the young Sabine women, then neighbours to them, and when they had them secure, they ravished them, from whence proceeded so numerous an offspring. 252 K till alimony or death them parts. Alimony is an allowance that the law gives the woman for her separate maintenance upon living from her husband. That and death are reckoned the only separations in a married state. The lady's answer to the knight that you're a beast, and turn thee to grass, is no strange news, nor ever was, at least to me, who once you know, did from the pound replieve you, when both your sword and spurs were won five in combat by an Amazon. That sword, that did, like fate, determine th inevitable death of vermin, and never dealt its furious blows but cut the throats of pigs and cows, ten by trailers, in single fight, disarmed e and rested from its night, your heels degraded of your spurs, and in the stocks close prisoners, where still they'd lain, in base restraint, fifteen if I, in pity of your complaint, had not on honourable conditions, 
released M from the worst of prisons and what return that favor met you cannot, though you woody, forget, twenty when, being free, you strove to evade the oaths you had in prison made, forswore yourself, and first denied it, but after owned it and justified it and when why had falsely broke one vow, twenty-five absolved ye yourself by breaking two. For while you sneakingly submit, and beg for pardon at our feet, discouraged ye by your guilty fears, to hope for quarter for your ears, thirty and doubting twas in vain to sue, you claim us boldly as your due, declare that treachery and force, to deal with us, is th only course. We have no title nor pretense thirty-five to body, soul, or conscience, but ought to fall to that man's share that claims us for his proper wear. These are the motives which, t induce or fright us into love, you use. Forty a pretty new way of gallanting, between soliciting and ranting, like sturdy beggars that entreat for charity at once, and threat. But since you undertake to prove forty-five your own propriety in love, as if we were but lawful prize in war between two enemies, or forfeitures, whichever I lover, that would ye but sue for, might recover, fifty it is not hard to understand the mystry of this bold demand that cannot at our person's aim, but something capable of claim. Tease not those paltry counterfeit fifty-five French stones, which in our eyes you set, but our right diamonds, that inspire and set your amorous hearts on fire. Nor can those false Saint Martin's beads, which on our lips you lay for reds, Sixty and make us wear, like Indian dames, add fuel to your scorching flames, but those true rubies of the rock, which in our cabinets we lock. Tease not those orient pearls our teeth, sixty-five that you are so transported with, but those we wear about our necks, produce those amorous effects. Nor is tea those threads of gold, our hair, the periwigs you make us wear, seventy but those bright guineas in our chests, that light the wild fire in your breasts. These love tricks I've been vasdi in so, that all their sly intrigues I know, and can unriddle, by their tones, seventy-five their mystic cabals and jargons can tell what passions, by their sounds, pine for the beauties of my grounds, what raptures fond and amorous oth charms and graces of my house, eighty what ecstasy and scorching flame, burns for my money in my name, what from th unnatural desire to beasts and cattle takes its fire, what tender sigh, and trickling tear, Eighty-five longs for a thousand pounds a year, and languishing transports are fond of statute, mortgage, bill, and bond. These are th attracts which most men fall in armadie, at first sight, with all ninety to these th address with serenades, and court with balls and masquerades, and yet, for all the yearning pain why have suffered e for their loves in vain, I fear they'll prove so nice and coy ninety-five to have, and t hold and to enjoy that all your oaths and labour lost, they'll ne'er turn ladies of the post. This is not meant to disapprove your judgment in your choice of love, one hundred which is so wise. The greatest part of mankind study t as an art, for love show d, like a deodand, still fall to th owner of the land, and where there's substance for its ground, 
105 cannot but be more firm and sound than that which has the slightest basis of airy virtue, wit, and graces, which is of such thin subtlety, it steals and creeps in at the eye, 110 and, as it can't endure to stay, steals out again as nicer. Way. But love that its extraction owns from solid gold and precious stones must, like its shining parents, prove 115 as solid and as glorious love. Hence tease you have no way to express our charms and graces but by these, for what are lips, and eyes, and teeth, which beauty invades and conquers with. 120 but rubies, pearls, and diamonds, with which a filter love commands. This is the way all parents prove, in managing their children's love, that force M.T. into marry and wed, 125 as if T.H. were burying of the dead, cast earth to earth, as in the grave, to join in wedlock all they have and when the settlements in force, take all the rest for better or worse, 134 money has a power above the stars and fate to manage love, whose arrows, learned poets hold, that never miss, are tip D with gold. And though some say, the parents claims 135 to make love in their children's names, who many times at once provide the nurse, the husband, and the bride feel darts and charms, attracts and flames, and woo and contract in their names, 140 and as they christen, use to marry M, and, like their gossips, answer for M, is not to give in matrimony, but sell and prostitute for money. Tease better than their own betrothing, 145 who often do tea for worse than nothing, and when th are at their own. Dispose, with greater disadvantage choose. All this is right, but for the course you take to do tea, by fraud or force, 150 teas so ridiculous, as soon as told. Tis never to be done, no more than setters can betray, that tell what tricks they are to play. Marriage, at best, is but a vow, 155 which all men either break or bow, then what will those forbear to do, who perjure when they do but woo? Such as beforehand swear and lie for earnest to their treachery, 160 and rather than a crime confess, with greater strive to make it less, like thieves, who, after sentence passed, maintain their innocence to the last, and when their crimes were made appear 165 as plain as witnesses can swear, yet, when the wretches come to die, will take upon their death a lie, nor are the virtues you confess to your ghostly father as you guessed, 170 so slight as to be justified e by being as shamefully denied e. As if you thought your word would pass point blank on both sides of a case, or credit were not to be lost 175 be a brave knight errant of the post, that eats perfidiously his word, and swears his ears through a two-inch board can own the same thing, and disown, and purge a booty, pro and con, 180 can make the gospel serve his turn, and help him out, to be forsworn, when tease laid hands upon, and kissed, to be betrayed and sold like Christ. These are the virtues in whose name 185 a right to all the world you claim and boldly challenge a dominion, in grace and nature, o'er all women, of whom no less will satisfy than all the sex your tyranny, 
190 Although you'll find it a hard province, with all your crafty frauds and covins, to govern such a numerous crew, who, one by one, now govern you, for if you all were Solomon's, 195 and wise and great as he was once, you'll find they are able to subdue, as they did him, and baffle you. And if you are imposed upon tease by your own temptation done, 200 that with your ignorance invite, and teach us how to use the slight. For when we find why are still more taken with false attracts of our own making, swear that's a rose, and that a stone, two hundred and five like sots, to us that laid it on, and what we did but slightly prime, most ignorantly daub in rhyme, you force us, in our own defences, to copy beams and influences. 210 to lay perfections on the graces, and draw attracts upon our faces, and, in compliance to your wit, your own false jewels counterfeit. 4. By the practice of those arts 215 we gain a greater share of hearts, and those deserve in reason most that greatest pains and study cost, for great perfections are like heaven, too rich a present to be given. 220 Nor are these master strokes of beauty to be performed e without hard duty, which, when they are nobly done and well, the simple natural excel. How fair and sweet the planted rose 225 beyond the wild in hedges grows. For without art the noblest seeds of flow are estigenrate into weeds. How dull and rugged, eerie tea's ground and polished e, looks a diamond. 230 Though paradise were e are so fair, it was not kept so without care. The whole world, without art and dress, would be but one great wilderness and mankind but a savage herd, 235 for all that nature has conferred e. This does but rough hue, and design, leaves art to polish and refine. Though women first were made for men, yet men were made for the maiden, 240 for when, outwitted by his wife. Man first turned de tenant but for life, if women had not intervened, how soon had mankind had an end? And that it is in being yet, 245 to us alone you are in debt. And where's your liberty of choice, and our unnatural no voice? Since all the privilege you boast, and falsely usurp de, or vainly lost, 250 is now our right, to whose creation you owe your happy restoration, and if we had not weighty cause to not appear, in making laws, we could, in spite of all your tricks, 255 and shallow, formal politics, force you our management's to obey, as we to yours, in show, give way. Hence tease that, while you vainly strive to advance your high prerogative, 260 you basely, after all your braves, submit, and own yourselves our slaves, and cause we do not make it known, nor publicly our interest own, like sots, suppose we have no shares 265 in ordering you and your affairs, when all your empire and command you have from us at second hand as if a pilot, that appears to sit still only while he steers, 270 and does not make a noise and stir like ever why common mariner, knew nothing of the card, nor star, and did not guide the man of war, nor we, 
because we don't appear 275 in councils, do not govern there, while, like the mighty, M. Prester John, whose person none dares look upon, but is preserved in close disguise, from being made cheap to vulgar eyes, 280 W enjoy as large a POW are unseen, to govern him, as he does men, and in the right of our Pope Joan, make EMP rolls at our feet fall down, or, N, Joan de Pusel's brave a name, 285 our right to arms and conduct. Claim, who, though a spinster, yet was able to serve France for a grand constable. We make and execute all laws, can judge the judges and the cause, 290 prescribe all rules of right or wrong to th long robe, and the longer tongue, against which the world has no defense, but our more POWful eloquence. We manage things of greatest weight 295 in all the world's affairs of state are ministers of war and peace, that sway all nations how we please. We rule all churches and their flocks, heretical and orthodox, 300 and other heavenly vehicles OTH spirits in all conventicles. By us is all commerce and trade improved d, and manag d, and decay d, for nothing can go off so well, 305 nor bears that price, as what we sell. We rule in every public meeting, and make men do what we judge fitting, our magistrates in all great towns, where men do nothing but wear gowns. 310 We make the man of war strike sail, and to our braver conduct veil, and, when H has chak d his enemies, submit to us upon his knees. Is there an officer of state 315 untimely ready, or magistrate, that's haughty and imperious? He's but a journeyman to us. That as he gives us cause to duty, can keep him in, or turn him out. 320 We are your guardians, that increase or waste your fortunes how we please, and, as you humour us, can deal in all your matters, ill or well. Tease we that can dispose of 300.